American hit in 1961 by James Ray, who died in his early 20s in 1964 from a drug overdose. And now for your request, Judy Studd, poet of Newport Pagnell, proving, I hope, that yes, we do take our snail mail seriously, though, as you rightly surmise, its proportions have shrunk enormously compared to our amount of email. So, to cheer up your husband, Dennis, it'll be our pleasure to play something by the Moody Blues. We've chosen a single that just failed to make the top 40, but was their last one to get anywhere near the charts in the 60s. A song that John Lodge wrote for the album In Search of the Lost Chord, destined to become a long-standing encore favourite of the band, Ride My Seesaw. Moody Blues, 
And those of you interested in facts about the band may like to know about an amazing two-volume encyclopedia written by Victor Rust that has just been published, and it's one of the most detailed pieces of work ever compiled about a rock band. And now our recognition of a remarkable achievement in UK music this week by the New Seekers, who celebrate their 40th anniversary in show business, having been formed in 1969 by original Seeker Keith Potcher. And this was their first single release that year, Meet My Lord. I have a friend who's never going to fail me. No matter how I may let him down. Until the The New Seekers, currently enjoying a fabulous career revival, who will begin a huge UK tour today at London's Shaw Theatre. But now let's move on to this week's example of junior choice, with a song from 1962, which demonstrates how children's tastes have changed dramatically since the 60s. We're going to hear a recording by Spike Milligan of a song written by Ron Goodwin and Herbert Kretzmer, who early in his career specialised in novelty songs such as Goodness Gracious Me, but in later years wrote the lyrics for the musical Les Miserables. This song for Spike was called Postman's Knock. That's him. That's me. I don't know who that is. Before the lock or the crowing of the cock When the morning's dawning you'll hear the postman's knock He's up with the dawn, <laughs> well, not, you he know. walks around the clock <laughs> Morning, noon and evening you'll hear the postman's knock <laughs> Baby, he'll uh, bring you to your life
does he bring? Deliver to your door, tell him. You're never really certain just what he has in store. For words can be sad, oh, yes. or sweet as sugar plums. Open up the envelope and take it as it comes. Who left that elephant in the street? <laughs> Come on now. Come on, little children. Tell me now. A junior choice performed by Spike Milligan in 1962. And next, a top ten hit for the animals with their version of a Sam Cooke composition considered by some to have been a definitive soul song, providing a formula still popular today. There have been dozens of covers of this, including recordings by Otis Redding, Eddie Floyd, Sonny and Cher, Van Morrison and Wilson Pickett. But here are the animals in 1965 with their version of Bring It On Home To Me. <laughs> UK number seven for the animals from 1965. And to follow that, here's a track from the Shirelles' third album, Baby It's You. Like their two previous albums, the repertoire for this one was a mix of already issued singles and old and new songs recorded as possible future hits. It was also their first LP to make the American album charts. And the song from it that we're going to play was by Goffin and King and called Make the Night a Little Longer.
1962 album track by the Shirelles. And that paved the way for your note, Dave Fry in Gosport, saying that you remember a song called Lazy Life by a guy called William E., but you can't find it in any catalogue and wonder if there's a chance we could play it for you. Phil says that over the past few months we've received several requests for this record, so perhaps we'd better play it anyway. William E. is Bill Kimber, a singer, songwriter and successful record producer. This was his only release for Polydor and picked up extensive plays at the time, which unfortunately coincided with the Pressing Plant's annual holiday, putting it out of stock at its highest point of demand. South African singer Billy Forrest asked if he could have the rights to the record for his region and recorded it himself using the name of Quinton Klopperjager and topped his local charts with it for several weeks. Chestnuts in a shady wood With the one you love It makes you feel so good Listen, I know The pace is kind of slow But it's the kind of lazy life I love It's the kind of lazy life I love Sitting fishing from a wooden bridge Watching ducks as they try to catch the fish Peace at last, I think I found my place Oh, I love this land and I'm a happy face Listen, I know The pace is kind of slow But it's the kind of lazy life I love It's the kind of lazy life I love Chestnuts in a shady wood With the one you love It makes you feel so good Listen, I know The pace is kind of slow But it's the kind of lazy life I love It's the kind of lazy life I love Lazy Life, issued in the UK under the name of William E. in 1967. And now the slightly odd story of a group called the Jesters, formed by Jerry Phillips, son of the legendary Sam Phillips, boss of Sun Records. The Jesters only had one record released called Cadillac Man, but recorded several other tracks that have remained in the archives until now, when Big Beat Records have released a CD called The Jesters, Cadillac Man, with several of those hitherto unheard tracks.
previously neglected Sun Records group, The Jesters, now made available on a CD of tracks that they originally made over 40 years ago. And now for this week's three in a row. Davy Bell in Gateshead has asked us to play tracks by the hugely influential Move. And in order of appearance, there'll be their disc chosen to open Radio 1, Flowers in the Rain, then an alternative mix of Curly, as featured on their deluxe expanded CD edition of their album Shazam, and finally the hit for Amen Corner in an abridged version of the original song from the Move's new four CD anthology, recently released on Salvo. Hello, Susie. <laughs> in a heap and yellow roses scattered all around the time was still approaching for I couldn't stand it anymore so Mary goes upon my eye to die I'm just sitting watching flowers in the rain feel the power of the rain making the garden grow I'm just sitting watching flowers in the rain feel the power of the rain keeping me cool so I lay upon my Side with all the windows open wide, couldn't pressurize my head from speaking. Hoping not to make a sound, I pushed my bed into the ground in time to catch the sight that I was seeking. I'm just sitting, watching flowers in the rain.
Radio 2's 50s season begins with the story of 1959's Winter Dance Party, an ill-advised bus tour of the Midwest, which ended tragically with the deaths of Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and the Big Bopper. Buddy got arrangements for me and him and Waylon to fly, and the Big Bopper had the flu, and Waylon said, well, you can go to my place. When Richie found out the Bopper was going, he wanted to fly, and I just pulled out a 50-cent piece and flipped it, and he called ahead. And in the aftermath of his death, Holly's legend grew. The biggest thing that ever happened to me, really, was when Maria Elena Holly told me that more happened to Buddy Holly after American Pie than ever happened before. Join me, Steve Harley, for Crying, Waiting, Hoping, the story of Buddy Holly's last tour, tonight at 7, here on BBC Radio 2. Symbols on her fingers entering through the door Ruby glistening from her navel shimmering around the floor Bells of feet go ting and ling a ling going through my head Sweat is falling just like a teardrop's running from her head Now she's dancing going through the movement swaying to and fro Body moving, bringing back a memory, thoughts of long ago. Blood is rushing, temperature is rising, sweating from my brow. Like a snake, her body fascinates me, I can't look away now. Stop, stop, stop all the dancing, give me time to breathe. Stop, stop, stop all the dancing, or I have to leave. She's moving all around the tables, blurring all in sight But I know that she cannot see me hidden by the light Closer, closer, she's getting nearer, soon she'll be in reach As I enter into a spotlight, she stands lost for speech Stop, stop, stop all the dancing, give me time to breathe Stop, stop, stop all the dancing, or I'll have to leave Over tables, spilling all the drinks Can't they understand that I want her Happens every week Heavy hand upon my collar Throws me in the street Stop, stop, stop all the dancing Give me time to breathe Stop, stop, stop all the dancing Or I have to leave Number two hit single for the Hollies, taken from their first album consisting entirely of their own compositions, Stop, Stop, Stop. It was also used as the title track in the US and Canada, though it had been called for certain because in the UK. And here's another track from that same album, though we're going to hear a cover of this one, made by Paul and Barry Ryan. They'd chosen two Hollies songs for inclusion in their own debut album, Two of a Kind, just released for the first time on CD by Revola Records, and this one was Pay You Back With Interest. Say myself the way I do But when I want to it's over I pay it back with interest I pay it back with interest Most of my life I've been moving But when I tire I'll come home to you But until then I'll be waiting To pay it back with interest I'll close my eyes to love this side 
Ryan performing a song written by their own idols at the time, The Hollies. And next, the song which restored Pat Boone to the British top ten for the first time in three and a half years. Although, rather strangely, it had stalled at 35 in the States. We've had a request for this record from Peter Watley or Waitley of Andover, who hasn't heard it for years, he says, but it was one of the first two records which came with the first record player bought by his mum and dad for himself and his sister Sheila when they were 11 and 12, respectively. So once again for Sheila, this time also for her husband Pete, and for Peter and his wife Jean, here's Pat Boone's hit, Johnny Will. I gotta get some money and get it right away Because my baby, she gave me the word today She's tired of sitting home each night She says she has her fill And if I don't take her to the dance next week Johnny will I checked and found they're selling tickets at five bucks each and all that kind of money ain't within my reach But if I want to be the guy who is her only thrill I'd better take her to the dance next week Or Johnny will Oh, that Johnny, that no good Johnny He's been trying to steal my love and baby away uh, Sends her candy Sends her flowers And I never saw her smile the way She smiled at him today I tried to borrow it from my friends But they said no Still somehow, someway I just gotta get that dough My future happiness depends on one ten dollar bill Cause if I don't take her to the dance next week Johnny will Johnny will Oh, that Johnny That no good Johnny He's been trying to steal my love and baby away Sends her candy Sends her flowers And I never saw her smile the way She smiled at him today I tried to borrow it from my friends But they said no Still somehow, someway, I just gotta get that dough My future happiness depends on one ten dollar bill Cause if I don't take her to the dance next week Johnny will, Johnny will Oh, that Johnny, Johnny will and now from that Pat Boone record to our final request this week, which is for Jeff Steele, who emigrated to Australia in 1974 and now lives in Kilcare Heights. He says he was an avid collector of music by Fairport Convention and had five LPs from their beginnings with Judy Dibble, but thought they were at their best with the late Sandy Denny, who tragically died so young. Here for you today, Jeff, and for your friend in Essex, Dave Blackmore, here's a track from Fairport's album Liege and Leaf, titled Come All Ye.
Fairport Convention, recorded in 1969. And from that to our final record this week, a US number five in 1967 by the group which had begun as the Downbeats, an instrumental outfit. But in 1960, having recruited vocalist Mark Lindsay, they changed the name to Paul Revere and the Raiders. They had a string of American hits on Epic, but never managed to break through in Britain. This was a number five in the States in 1967, Him or Me, What's it going to be? bringing us to the end of another edition of Sounds of the Sixties, compiled and produced by Phil the Collector Swern. And this is your old mate Brian Matthews saying that's a lot for this week. See you next week. Jonathan Ross follows the news. This is BBC Radio 2, online, on digital and on 88 to 91 FM.